What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Trick Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about swing throughs. So first of all, what is a swing through? If you're watching this video, you guys probably already know what it is, but if you're not familiar, it's swinging one trick into another off of one leg. There's a cork, swing through cork, doing a cork, landing one leg, swinging into another one. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to make your swing throughs easier, doing long cork rows, swinging to doubles, swinging to triples, all that sort of stuff. We're gonna explain it in today's video. So let's start this video off with the most common problem people have with swing throughs. The most common problem is people try and learn swing throughs too prematurely. Maybe your cork isn't good enough, you're landing chest low, you're not able to get your leg to swing through. And the same applies for gainer switch and B-twist and anything that you're swinging into another move, you gotta land with your chest up that's gonna allow your leg to be able to swing through. This position is harder to swing from than this position. Obviously. So that concludes the first tip. Get your cork, B-twist, whatever you're doing, higher, land with that chest up. It's gonna allow you to be able to swing that leg through. Now for tip two. This is actually a tip that I discovered for myself. I don't see many people talk about it, but this really helped me in the beginning with swings. I got my cork to a point where I was able to land quite chest up, but I wasn't able to get this leg to swing through. Every single time I would land two feet. When I was trying to do swing through, I was trying to get my leg to swing from the back all the way up to the front like you see when good people do it. That's not an easy way to learn it because when you want to do that, you need to land so good to be able to get your leg through. You got to train your mind first. The biggest difference that changed my swings from not being able to get my leg through to being able to get it through is stop trying to swing it, start just trying to land on one leg. Keep your knee up, just land on one leg. That's just a normal cork that I would be landing on two feet, but I bring my knee up like this and it allows my leg to come through. Now this was the biggest thing for me in the beginning because no matter how much I tried, I could never get my leg to swing through. But as soon as I started trying to land on one leg, I think I did like cork swing gainer and whatever. It's not the best looking swing through, but that should hopefully open the gate for swing throughs as a whole. For the last tip, this is for people who are already kind of experienced with corks and swing throughs, a little bit more advanced. There is more than one type of cork. There's more than one type of B-twist, more than one type of any trick. It depends on what you're doing to that trick or from that trick. I'll explain. Okay, so as you can see in this clip here, I'm doing a cork, I'm going quite high, going up, pulling it all the way around, coming straight down. Now, although this is a good cork for doing variations, maybe doing double cork, things like that, it is not a good cork for doing swings because my momentum is going to up and down. I'm transferring all of my horizontal movement on the ground into blocking up as high as possible. There's very little backwards momentum to get me around to swing into another one. That is one of the biggest things with swing throughs. It's all about keeping your backwards momentum to be able to continue your swing row. 99% of the time when you mess up your fifth cork in a row, it's probably because you've lost the momentum going backwards. And then you've got other types of corks. You can see in this clip here, I'm doing a cork, I'm leaning quite back and I'm riding it back into another cork. Copy and paste two kind of whipped corks. Now you can see in this one, I'm whipping the first one back, same as I did in the first one, but the second one I'm now lifting up like I did in the first one. This is gonna block me from the first one, get me more height on the second one, 
This is really good for corks, when double corks, triple corks, stuff like that. So I hope that makes sense. The biggest takeaway from all of this is work on your prereqs, make sure your cork is solid, make sure you can land with your chest up. Try and land on one leg, don't try swing through, just try land on one leg. In the beginning, it'll turn itself into the swing through. And lastly is there's different types of corks. I guess this tutorial actually turned into a kind of advanced one, but hopefully it's useful for some of you guys out there. In the next one, I'll make sure to do it more on a beginner tutorial. So let me know in the comments what tutorial or trick tip do you guys want to know about in the next one? Because I make these every single Tuesday now and it's actually a lot of fun giving back to you guys and uh, thank you so much for all the love on my last video I appreciate it you guys left the nicest comments genuinely I've been reading them all day it warms my heart how much of an impact my videos have on you guys I don't know I'm so thankful so thank you guys everyone who likes the videos and sub subscribes and even watches the stuff so with all of that I'm gonna end the video right there please do hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this more vlogs more antics and I'll see you guys in a couple of days with the next one